Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Vikings. I'm not sure I'm ready for this episode. I feel like it's gonna be a shit show. I don't, obviously I don't know, but that ending really made it seem like, okay, shit's about to go down. It's not even the finale. So like, I don't know what's in store and I'm really nervous. So I mean, huh. oh Lord, somebody hold my hand. All right, let's get started. She's such a queen. Like I, I have 
full faith in his fighting skills, but I am so nervous right now. And Bjorn, okay, 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 okay. I mean, the three of them can do some damage. So much less frightening than I suppose. Okay, well you didn't do shit. I'm sorry. Can we pan back to Ragnar and Bjorn? He's he's fucking dead. You gotta be kidding me. I 
am bound and determined to conquer it. That was an absolutely amazing episode. I have no idea how I'm going to edit this, <laughs> like at all. Um, okay, I guess the, oh my god, I don't even know where to start. M mainly the whole vibe of the episode, I think I'm going to start with that and talk about that for a little bit because it's, the whole vibe of the episode is weird. And I'm sure you guys are like used to the feeling by now, but it's, it's, it's a weird feeling of like, you're kind of rooting for these Vikings in the sense that you love a lot of the characters that are raiding, trying to get into Paris. But at the same time, you're kind of like, if you think about it from the, like people in Paris, like they're, you know, I mean, these people are trying to invade. They're just protecting themselves. And I, I mean, so it's like, I, it, it's so weird to not really root for a side in the fight, but rooting more for individuals in the fight. Um, that's how, that's just, you know, it's a very bizarre feeling. Um, uh, I really enjoyed uh, th how they, I mean, it, this sounds weird, but like how they really got the shit kicked out of them. Um, you know, they are amazing fighters and I don't think anybody questions that, but there were some very good war tactics or battle tactics used and um, I'm very, it's an interesting, it's interesting to see that side of it um, and see them. And, and it's interesting to see that Ragnar's still determined. Um, but I mean, yeah, there's gonna, I don't know how they're going to have to, to do, to even do this because it, it's like, I, I don't know. I, I just think that there's so much, um, They've lost so many men, so they might have to do something stealthier, <laughs> maybe? I don't know. I was losing my mind because it was like Rollo falls and then Bjorn is like dead. Apparently he's not dead, so I'm very happy about that. Oh my god. Like that whole scene where like when they panned to um, the king and stuff, uh, I was so... Um, or is it a king? I don't, I don't know, but, uh, that he, that I was so like, I don't need to see the scene. Please go back to Bjorn now, now. <laughs> um, I really, uh, I kind of like the princess though. Side note. Um, she at least did something, even though it was kind of just like morale stuff. I, I, I kind of liked her side note on that, but, um, I'm very happy that he's not dead. Um, uh, I, uh, the whole thing with Lagatha and that guy, I just, I don't know. I kind of like though that she was like, you know, the conditions are, I'm just going to kill you someday. So, I mean, if you can live with that and he's like, all right. So, I mean, all the more power to them really. Um, okay. Getting into the, the realness, um, the actor who plays Floki. is so fucking good. And I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting emotional with this because I f just love his character. And that whole episode made me love him even more. Um, this scene where he's yelling at the gods when the whole thing is on fire around him. Oh, like I felt that. I felt that. I mean, he... He is putting so much faith, but I mean, obviously he's putting so much faith in the gods, but I, you guys know what I mean. Like he's really like, and, and he, I, he truly believed slash beliefs. I, I don't know. We'll see, uh, that, you know, like this Athelstan sacrifice was 
the correct thing to do in the eyes of the gods. Like, it, like he believed that. So for this to happen and for him to feel so hurt and betrayed, it's just, oh my lord. I just absolutely, I loved that scene. It's just so... I, I don't know. I, I, this arc, and, and I'm so very aware that, you know, it's such a weird, it's such a weird thing to watch the show and know, like, I know Ragnar's coming for Floki. I know he's gonna get his revenge and Floki's gonna die, I think. Um, and... I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of sad by it. Um, I'm very sad by it. But it's like, I'm also really excited to see uh, what they're going to do with Floki until the end of the season. It's been spectacular so far. And I know that I would assume a lot of the fans really hated him for killing Athelstan and, and putting so much not being loyal to Ragnar in that, in that sense. And, you know, I, like, I totally get that, but I just find his character to be so fascinating and, and, and the most fascinating. Um, the, the scene between him and Helga just like broke my heart and shattered it into pieces because just when he said like, don't be angry with me, it's just really got me <laughs> really in my core. A lot. I, I I love his um character and I just hope they do really well. Um and I mean maybe he won't die. I you know what I mean? Like but I'm prepping myself. I'm prepping myself for this. Um two more episodes left um and for this season and I, I just think it's gonna be nuts. Anyway. Oh my god. Whoo! Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.